Basal cell carcinomas are usually developed in places with a lot of sun exposure. Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this video on everything you need to know to check yourself for skin cancer. Most importantly, what are the major types of skin cancer and how do you recognize them? And as always, I will bore you with a quick introduction. My name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions and that's what this channel is all about. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informational. This is not medical advice and always contact your doctor, especially if you think you might have skin cancer. Go to your doctor. Now I wanted to start this video off by educating you on the three main types of skin cancer. Basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma and melanomas. Because if you don't know them, you cannot recognize them. These different cancers are named after the cells in which they are developing. And carcinoma, as you might have guessed, is Latin for cancer. In this picture you see where the basal cells, squamous cells and melanocytes are located in your skin. Now let's take a closer look at each of these cancers. Now we start off with the most common form of skin cancer, a basal cell carcinoma, but luckily this is the least dangerous one. It grows very slowly and it spreads very rarely, which makes it very easily treatable and not that deadly. Basal cell carcinomas are usually developed in places with a lot of sun exposure. So your arms, your head, your torso, these kinds of places. As exposure of ultraviolet rays can increase your chances on developing a basal cell carcinoma. And now then, the most burning question, how can you recognize them? Here I am showing you some examples of a basal cell carcinoma. They may appear as a painless rays area of skin, looking dry and scaly. It can be colored red or pale. And as it grows, it may appear ulcerated or look like a sore. And lastly, if you look very closely, you can see small blood vessels running over it. Next up, squamous cell carcinomas. And luckily, they are more rare than a basal cell carcinoma because they develop a little more quickly and they can spread more easily. This makes them harder to treat and more dangerous. It usually develops over several months, but if you recognize it early, your chances improve vastly and the prognosis is usually good. And helping you to do so is the whole point of this video. So please leave a like for me trying to save your life. Now let's get back to the question. How do you recognize a squamous cell carcinoma? It usually looks like a slow growing hard lump with raised edges and a scaly top. It can also lie below the level of your normal skin. And as it grows, it can evolve in an ulcer or a reddish skin plaque. It bleeds very easily and frequently. And again, if you take a very close look, it is covered with tiny blood vessels. As with basal cell carcinomas, exposure to UV radiation of the sun can greatly increase your chances on developing a squamous cell carcinoma. Therefore, they are found most often in sun exposed areas, the back of your hand, scalp, lip and torso. Lastly, we will cover melanomas, the most dangerous form of skin cancer. It grows very fast, it spreads very early and therefore it's very dangerous. Melanomas develop in pigment producing cells called melanocytes. And if undetected and untreated, they can be deadly within just a few months. And a melanoma might be developed at parts of your body not normally exposed to sunlight, but as with the previous skin cancers, exposure to ultraviolet rays might increase your likelihood to actually developing it. Now then the most important question, how can you recognize a melanoma? And to do this properly, you first need to learn how to recognize a normal healthy mole. Moles, also called nevus or nevus cells, are a type of benign, which means non-cancerous, tumor. These are a type of skin cell containing a lot of pigment. This explains why moles are often brown or black. Now usually you are born with several moles. This is determined genetically. However, they may also appear randomly during your lifetime. And for this there seems to be no specific trigger. Here it is important to know that normal moles can have various sizes and characteristics. They can be brown or black, hairless or with a lot of hairs, flat or as a bump on your skin, but usually they are round. And from here it's quite simple to recognize a melanoma. If your mole changes in appearance, if it becomes larger, if it changes in color, if it starts bleeding or if it becomes painful, then you should contact your doctor. You could also use the following acronym to detect melanomas early, A, B, C, D, E, F, which I will trust you remember. A stands for asymmetry, and as I told you, normal moles should be round. B stands for borders. Are there any irregularities, edges, corners? There should be none. C stands for colors. Does your mole have multiple colors, which it did not have before, like red, white or black? D stands for diameter. If your mole becomes larger than 6 millimeters. 
E stands for evolving over time. Does your mold change? And F stands for funny looking, which basically means that if your mold starts to look funny, then get it checked out. Now I hope this video was clear and I hope you know now how to check yourself for skin cancer. Please share this video with someone you know that might benefit from it as well. Because together we can become more medically educated and live healthier, which is the whole point of my channel. And for those of you wanting to learn more on skin related problems or drugs, check out the playlist I made in the description. Furthermore, don't forget to leave a like to this video. This will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing so you never miss such an awesome medical video again. And as always, I will see you next week. Bye bye.